want to welcome all of you that are joining with us today. And I am teaching prophetically from my Biblical Success in Life course. This is much, much more than just uh, a bunch of studying that I've done. This course is designed, I believe, by God to bring you into the abundance that he, oh yes, that he has prepared for you since the foundations of the world. You were created to live in paradise as God's child, as God's children. And he, his plan, God's dream, was to give us dominion, authority over all the earth, to bring it into its full potential. We failed, but God sent Jesus, the last Adam, the second Adam, as a son, tempted in all points as we were, yet without sin or failure. He succeeded in doing two things. A, suffering the effects and penalties, the curse of our sins, of breaking the law of God's covenant or God's will. And then he redeemed us and resurrected us into this new, eternal, abundant life. Anyway, I'm teaching from my course, and I'm teaching on breaking the code for debt-free living. Amen. Let me read to you from our passage of Scripture, and I believe today the Lord is going to say some things to you to help you in your life. Don't forget my website, I have a free book for you, How to Be Rich and Have Everything You Ever Wanted. It's scriptural. You will be amazed as you read the seven powerful truths that are in this book. Several million have gone out. It's free for those of you that like to go to our website, roberttiltonlive.com. Now, I want to welcome all of our friends, our family, our partners, our neighbors, that are watching today, and I love to record live here on all the majority of the social media platforms, and then I like to play it back with that same live inspiration and anointing. Whether you're watching me live right now or watching me later, we are recording live. You may have missed it for a couple of hours, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years. But if you're watching right now, God is right now just the same today as he was yesterday when we recorded this message, and he will be the same tomorrow. You decide if God's going to be a right now God. And we are live, and, uh, and I just uh, tweeted out uh, to a large uh, group of people that I would be live right now. And uh, by the way, my phone is connected to our website. And those of you that are sending in your most urgent prayer request in the prayer request section on our website, or those of you that are making a donation on our PayPal account that, that uh, secured uh, a circuit for your debit uh, card, uh, it's, I see them coming in and I'll be driving down the road and and I'll look down and I'll look at it, you know, and, and uh, when I get to a place to stop, I'll uh, download your prayer request, and I'll begin to pray for you right then and there. And then I, I like to think that that when I'm when when God speaks to you to give a donation, whether it's a uh, hundred million or or fifty dollars or a dollar or five dollars or twenty or a hundred, whatever it is, that you obey the Spirit of God. And uh, and I and I, I like to think it's an amen coming from you, saying, Bob, I like that message of progressive revelation of salvation of Jesus Christ for mankind. That's a mouthful, isn't it? I, 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 but it tastes so good. It's, it is a progressive revelation. Flesh and blood does not reveal it to us, but the Spirit of God reveals it to us. Praise God, there was a little flicker then. Let me read to you from this passage of Scripture that we've been teaching from. And then I've got uh, some new uh, inspired thoughts that I want to share with you. Now, they're cried. I'm, I'm here in 2 Kings, the fourth chapter. It's very important. This is a woman whose husband had died. 
Maybe you're divorced. Your husband's died. Maybe something has died in your life. Maybe you've been away from God. Maybe you're in a lot of pain. Maybe you feel like you're just fainting inside with so many problems and surrounded by so many, so many situations going on in your life. Well, I've got some good news for you that you can use. Amen. Then there cried a certain woman of the wives of the, of the sons of the prophets. She was a, 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 unto Elijah, saying that my servant is dead. My, my, my servant, my husband, thy, thy servant, my husband is dead. And thou knowest that my servant did fear the Lord, and the creditors have come to take unto them him my two sons to be bondmen. So uh, she had debt in her life. And the creditors were coming to take her two sons to be slaves. So she had a horrific problem going on financially. And she did not know what to do. But she knew enough to go to a prophet of God. Now listen closely. God has set in his church the called out body some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints unto the work of the ministry. There is an anointing, pastoring, teaching, apostolic, starting churches and works. And then there is the pro prophet, the prophetic anointing. A prophet has, uh, to me, the gift of faith the gift of revelation knowledge. He has the gift to speak things into existence. He's gifted. He's a seer. He sees beyond the natural realm and difficulties of life. He's someone that God sends along and that he brings a blessing. He brings the prophet's reward. He brings the prophet's blessing, the, the anointing that releases supernatural supply into people's lives, your life. I like to call it a divine transfer out of the, his Christ riches in glory into your life. Now this woman was dying. She was fainting. She had a difficult situation going on in her life. And the creditors were coming to take her sons. So she went to the prophet to get some help. She needed some of God's ability to overcome her disabilities, to overcome her inability to cope with life's problems. Are you listening to me, dear sister? God sent me to you, my dear brother, today to speak prophetically. Call those things which be not as though they were, to look beyond life's difficulties, to look beyond, to be able to see the future, to be able to predict the future. Yes, God predicts our future. Jesus said, if you don't doubt in your heart and believe those things that you say shall come to pass, you shall have whatsoever you sayeth. He's t talking to us about what the the faith, the ability of God will give substance to things hoped for. So this woman had a big problem. And then the prophet asked her, what can I do for you? Well, what, what can I, how, can I, how can I help you? How can I help you? Years ago, I had a, a young man, uh, and that was his favorite saying. Uh, he was from Cuba. He'd come to the United States, and uh, they, they were going to our church, and I ended up hiring him, and uh, he went all over the place with me. But he always loved to say, how can I help you? I always liked to hear him say that. How can I help you? I thought, what a, what a humble thing, kind thing, servant's heart. And I say to you, how can I help you? How can God help you right now? What kind of help do you need? And the woman, and the prophet said, what do you have in your house? Wow, you're, my house? What do I have in my house? What do I have in my control? What do I have within my life? And now you know the story. He's asking her what she has. And she said she didn't have anything except 
a little bit of oil in a jar, olive oil, cooking oil. I, all I have is a little oil. Now, listen closely. This is the beginning of the revelation of breaking the code. First of all, she listened to what the prophet had to say. He brings a blessing. When you accept that gift, that anointing, it's not the prophet, it's that gift, that anointing that's on him. He brings the prophet's blessing, the prophet's reward to your home and your life. It, it's tangible. It just begins to cause you to think different and talk different and act different and things begin to start happening around you. Miraculous supply is about to happen. She's about to get a miracle. She's about to get a big, giant blessing He's going to tell her what to do. He's going to break, <clears throat> break the code. He's going to tell her what to do. And if she will be willing and obedient to do what the prophet instructions, it would bring a blessing to where she could sell that oil begin to multiply. And he told her to go get some vessels, empty, borrow, when you borrow something, it means that you, you borrow it with the intent of returning it as good as it was, if not better. Okay? So you borrow something, and you're going to return it. Anytime you give God something, it's going to be returned. And the prophet wanted to know what she had that she could pour out of into empty vessels. Her life was empty. It was at her house. I like to call it a, a home-based business. A home-based business. Something in her house. Something in her, her control. But the deal is, now listen closely. This is one of the keys. I just got this one over the weekend. This is one of the keys. A new key to breaking the code is she did not think she had anything but he asked her, what do you have? She was looking at the problems. She was looking at lack of what she had. But the prophet knew she had to have something in her life that he could bless, that he could use as a vehicle, as seed, like a seed. To me, seed is miraculous. When you plow the ground and get it all just right and you put that little seed in the soil and start watering it and watering and watering and all of a sudden green starts coming up. Ooh, I like that, don't you? Green, everybody say, green starts coming up. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what we want. We want some green to start coming up. Now, this morning early as I was praying, and you know I like to pray early and meditate early, I was reminded of Jonah. And Jonah was dying. He was in the belly of the well, but really it says he was in the belly of a large fish, and he called it the belly of hell. I mean, it says it right here. Jonah, the second chapter, and the fish swallowed him up, and Jonah prayed unto the Lord out of the fish's belly, and I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me out of the belly of hell. Cried I, thou, thou heardest my voice. And then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I look again toward thy holy temple. You begin to draw an eye to God. He said, when my soul fainted within me. Listen to this. And when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. Hello, you out there. You folks that grew up in church and you got away from God. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. See how this gift, this apostolic, prophetic, evangelistic, pastoral teaching ministry operates in my life? Over 40 years of following the Lordship of Jesus through many hells and being spit out and vomited by the uh, hells of life, I'm here. Because the gift of God works in my life. I'm a testimonial to the grace and mercy and the ability of God. I've stayed in faith. 
and my faith just keeps working. And my faith is here right now, whether you're watching me in the middle of the night or early in the morning or whatever time this is live or being rebroadcast a hundred years from now. I don't know about that long. But the anointing is on the Word. It's just the same. I like that, don't you? Now here is Jonah. He said, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord and my prayer came unto thee and thy holy temple. His prayer request. Now listen closely. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. This dear sister, this woman here in the Bible, she told the prophet she didn't have anything. She was observing her sons were being taken by the creditors. She didn't think she had anything within her power to make a difference to solve the problems of her life. And maybe you're observing lying vanities right now. Say, Bob, what's a lying vanity? Well, first of all, we know it's a lie. Something that's lying to us. And vanity means basically something that's empty. The empty lies of life. Emptiness, the lies. The lies of an empty checkbook. The lies of an empty home. The lies of an empty heart. They that observe or pay attention to the, the problems and the lies of the devil forsake their own mercy. Instead of looking at the problems, we want to look at the solution. We want to look to God as the source of our supply. And that's what the prophet did. The prophet got her attention. What do you have in your house? She said, I don't have anything. But wait a minute. A little bit of oil. I've got. He says, Go borrow, empty, get your two sons to go out there and your neighbors abroad, outside of your house, outside of your life, get out there and find some empty vessels and then go into your house and shut the door. You just got to shut the door on the problems of life. Shut the door on those screaming devils. Shut the door. Withdraw into your home, your life, your house, your heart. Shut the door on those lying devils, those lying vanities. Shut the door, you and your sons, and begin to pour. Begin to pour into those empty vessels. Begin to give out of your need into the needs of others. Begin to pour out of what you have. And she kept pouring, and the oil kept multiplying. Why? That prophet had released a blessing on what she was giving out of. And when you give, it will be given back to you. What you borrow will be given back. When you lend unto the Lord, it comes back into your life. This woman learned the law of seed, time, and harvest. She began to break that code, and she began to live a life of supernatural, overflowing life. And then he told her, go and sell, go sell the oil, pay thy debts, and I like this, and live off the rest. Go sell the oil, pay thy debts. So she took what she had and begin to use what she had within her house. And when she began to use what she had in her house to bless others, it released a blessing into her life. It came back into her life, good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. So she took what she learned. I like to say she took what she learned, her oil, paid off her debt, Praise God, by selling what she had that multiplied, she took control, she took charge of her life. She took charge of that debt. She took control over it. She took dominion over it. She took authority over it. Go over it. You take authority over that debt. You take authority over that problem. You take dominion over it, glory to God, and then you begin to break it and release the blessing of God into it. Instead of looking at it as a problem, her situation, it became a great blessing. Instead of listening to the lies, lying vanities of the devil, she started listening to the prophet of God as he began to give her some simple tools.
tools, some simple keys in her life to get out of debt and live debt free by taking what she had out of her want, out of her need, and begin to release it and be a blessing to other people's lives. So Jonah, uh, Jonah said, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. They, they forsake the mercy and the help of God. Then he says, but I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that which I have vowed, that salvation or saving, God saves. God saved Jonah out of a hellacious condition, swallowed in the well. And salvation is of the Lord, and God caused that fish, that hellacious place where he was, to vomit Jonah out on dry ground. Praise God. Isn't that something? How God can take a tough situation and turn it into something good when you begin to look beyond yourself. In other words, don't look at yourself as your source. Look to God as the source. Don't look at the things that are seen, but look at the things that are not seen. The abundance of God, the wealth of God, the blessing of God, the miraculous. Oh, that's a good word for someone right then. The miraculous of God. The miracle working power of God. So the keys were, breaking the code, and I'm sending this letter out to a lot of you in a little while. <clears throat> the woman came, slaved to debt, breaking the code. He said, how can I help you? What do you have? Give me something to bless like Elijah said, give me something to eat. Give me something to drink. Give me something to release the miraculous power of God, the prophet's blessing into your life. The prophet's blessing, the pro prophets preach and prophesy prosperity. When the prophets begin to prophesy, the people begin to prosper. When we begin to preach healing, miracles and healing starts happening. When we begin to preach, teach prosperity and paying your bills and living debt free, people start getting healed in their finances. Do you need a miracle in your finances? A miracle. I'm talking about a miracle in your finances. This woman got a miracle in her finances. Praise God. What do you have? I can bless with the law of miraculous multiplication. What do you have? What do you have? She says, I have a little, I don't have anything. But he taught her how not to look at it as little. Despise not the day of small beginning. Something's going on. God's given you some ideas. He's given you some dreams. He's given you the ability to see beyond. I'm praying for you. I'm blessing you. I'm ministering to you right now. I'm believing the anointing of God is flowing through my words through this camera and into your home through your cell phone, your desktop, your laptop, wherever you are in the world right now. And we have people from all over the world watch our broadcast. And uh, I'm, it just, it's just, it's thousands are watching our broadcast all within the 24 hours of a day. And many live and rebroadcast in our website, Robert Tilton Live. You should tell your friends some other empty vessels. Amen. And our new Success in Life Club that's coming, our enrichment centers. Oh, I'm telling you, God sent me to you today. If it's just one of you. Yes. Someone watching me right now God sent me to your home and put you in front of this broadcast. God sent me to your house, your home, your life. You know what I want to do? I want to help you. I want to take what I've learned by walking with the Lord Jesus wonderful Jesus. And I want to 
teach you how to release your faith. I want to talk to you on the phone. I want to, I want to, I want to teach you what I've learned and bring you into the land of milk and honey. Can you, do you have a phone? Do you have a computer? Do you have a laptop? Do you have a phone number? Do you have an email address? I want you to go to my website, and I want you to, Go in the prayer request section and tell me, Bob, I heard what you said on your broadcast. I want you to help me organize my life. Seven pillars, seven pathways to divine prosperity with multiple streams of income right here. I want you to tell me who you are. If you can make a donation... Praise God, thank you very much. If you can't, someone who can will wants to sow into your empty vessel. If you can, help me help someone today. Maybe a $100 donation on the PayPal, $50 donation. I like uh, 22, 28 for Job 22, 28, where he says, Thou shalt acquaint thyself with him. Thou shalt decide a thing and decree it. You will make your prayer to him what you want. Thou shalt then pay thy vows, and the light of God's favor shall shine on your path. Then when men say there is casting down, there is lifting up. The power of making a vow. I challenge everyone, whether you have any money or not, to make a pledge, a vow of faith to God. Thanksgiving vow of faith. And then I want to begin to help you. I don't know if we have one person right now, but whoever you are, you decide if you want to be that person. I want to help you, and I want to teach you, and I want to help you like we, Marie and I did our little girls a few days ago, when they first started learning to ride their bicycles, slowly we begin to take the training wheel, raise the training wheels, and pretty soon they're riding their bicycles on their own. I want to agree with you in faith. I want to put my hands upon your hands and help you learn to live above hell. Will you let me help you? Someone... God has put someone, you know who you are. And this is something new I'm talking about right now. And I need some of my special friends that are, I need some special friends to help me help these people. I need some special friends to also text me and say, Bob, I'm one of your special friends and I want to help these empty vessels. When that woman began to help and fill empty vessels, can I say her home-based gig paid off her bills and she began to live off the rest of that overflow. I, wanna, I, wanna, I, want, I want you to uh, uh, go to my website, robertiltonlive.com. I want you to tell me that you're one of those, you're that person that you want me to help you and teach you and get your faith working in your life. Because faith gives substance to things hoped for. Faith, faith is, is an act of... Uh, the, the, it's the ability of God operating through you. It's the life of Christ operating through you, creating and bringing to pass those dreams and your highest imagination. So 
three people listening, kinds of people listening. One, someone you want, and we're having our success online uh, chapters, our fellowships. You can have one in your home with just you and me and Jesus, or you can have one where you invite several of your friends, and we're going to begin to minister to you, and, and, and I'm going to teach you as a, as a, a, a biblical success uh, prosperity minister. I have the gift. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. I have the gift of faith to bring you out of the belly of hell to help you begin to hear the voice of God and prosper. So someone God sent me to right now, whether this is live or being, being you go to robertiltonlive.com. Just right now our website is not sophisticated, but go to the prayer request section and type in there, say, Pastor Bob, help. Help me. Give me the information. We'll get back with you. And then someone, thank you, then some, someone, one of our faithful partners, I need someone to seed into our ministry today to give out of your need into the empty vessels that are watching us right now. That's the way it works. You need to give out of your need and out of your abundance to help us with these people that we want to bless and help and help them stand up on their feet with the power and the ability of God to teach this person how to walk in Christ's name. It's like you're sponsoring and helping someone else. And when you fill a borrowed vessel, it's being, it will be given back. So you receive and then it's given back, and it brings an overflow into your life, which we're working on that part of the code also. But I need uh, that person that you want to be one of those vessels to be filled with the oil of what we have in our house, and then that individual that's going to help me help these people and when you help someone else it comes back into your life with someone helping you oh yes something out of your need and then we're all releasing the miraculous ability of God into other people's lives let's pray Father, you see those that are listening to my voice today. And we're simply learning how to accept Jesus. If you've never accepted Jesus' forgiveness of sins and the redemption from the curse of sin, Romans 10, he is rich unto all that will call upon him. And then to be filled with the Holy Spirit, to be filled with the Spirit of God. As we're beginning our Success in Life fellowships, our chapters, our enrichment centers, this dream and vision that God's given me to go all over the world, you've been different countries in England, UK, Australia, Italy, lots of Italy, Africa, South Africa. Those of you that like to have a Success in Life Club chapter, like the old full gospel businessmen, only it's for believers. See, I believe that there, there, there is an end-time prosperity move where there's a divine transfer of the wealth that's been in the uh, heathens, unbelievers' hands is being transferred into the believers' control and hands. That there is a progressive exchange of, of becoming the head and not the tail, taking dominion over the earth and in the earth. 
like a dear brother of mine saw a man at the post office, and he had a brand new Rolls Royce parked in front, Robert Sandy. And uh, he was getting his mail, and, he said, and the man was opening up a bunch of, bunch of envelopes, and he said, can I ask you, is that your Rolls Royce out there? Yep. Can, can, I, can I ask you how, how you, what you, what you do that? He said, food trucks. He says, food trucks? He says, yeah, I got 250 of them. One something. Paul Mitchell washes pe the dirt out of people's hair. He's a billionaire today and started making that soap. It goes on and on and on. There is a divine transfer of the wealth of God out of the hands of the sinner into the hands, the control of the righteous. End time transfer of wealth that is laid up for this great golden age where the church in Mount Zion is growing, growing, growing above all of the hills. Oh, it's, 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 it's just so exciting what's going on. So text me, email me, write me. Uh, we need your donations to help us. I like $22.80 or $122.80. $22.80 or $228.80 for Job 22.28, deciding and decreeing a thing that you're, you're claiming that scripture. The Lord spoke that scripture, Job 22.28, to me years ago when we'd finished building our multi-million dollar auditorium, which was quite an exploit of faith. And he said, I'm going to tell you what you did. You decided what you wanted. You decreed it into existence with authority. And then you declared it. Continue to say it and say it and keep that word before you. And there it goes on to say, you make your prayer to him. Pay your vows in time of trouble. Thanksgiving vow of faith. Begin to pay them as God helps you and gives you the seed to sow. There's someone watching. You need to sow $100 today. I, there's something about $100. There was something about $100 uh, uh, 40 years ago. Well, $100 is about like a $20 bill uh, today compared, or back then. Or a $1,000 vow of faith. Many people make $1,000 vows of faith. You want to make a vow of faith, just type it in that section and we're going to get our websites working better over the future. Now let me bless you. Father, I release the prophet's blessing into that one's life that you want me to help, that you want me to minister, to coach them, mentor them, to talk to them, to love them, to heal them through Jesus' power and his name. You see that one God that's giving out of their need in life to help somebody else get a blessing. And God, I thank you for these brothers and sisters. As your healing power flows through my hands, through the airwaves, into that dear one that's listening's life, that dear sister, oh God, that feels like she's been shut up in hell. God, you said to release the captives and let them go free. In the name of Jesus, that dear brother God, to be a part of something exciting, something that's growing, be a part of the world's biggest church. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. I've enjoyed so much being with you today. Uh, my biblical success course is there on the website. It's not another course. It is powerful, powerful, powerful. And, of course, our free book and all the great things that we've got going on on our website and our ministry. Tell your friends that Robert Tilton is alive and well. Amen. I'm still going strong for Jesus. Praise the Lord. And uh, God is, is blessing our ministry. Wonderful things are going on. We kind of go down a different path than most. Um, we, uh, we, uh, we just follow what God's putting in our hearts to do and, and to say. 
and uh, we're, 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 we're excited. And so get, be in touch with us. And I've got to go. I've got my phone here. Uh, there's already uh, some people calling in right there, uh, tuning in. And so I'm waiting to hear from you. Uh, blessings to you. This is Pastor Robert Hilton reaching out to you.